Hello, welcome to lesson number 11. In this lesson, we're gonna add a new feature to our character so that he can crouch. Uh, I've, I've gone into the first person character to do this. Uh, the blueprint from that one could just as easily be the third person character. So in my first person character, I've gone into, I'll, well, I will go into edit and project settings. And we've got input, the same as we did for sprint. And now you can see lesson 10, we had the sprint features. So in my action mappings, I click add and I'll call this, I'll call this crouch. And in the drop, do, drop down box, um, keyboard, I'm gonna pick the letter C or the, on the keyboard for crouch. So crouch will be the letter C. Um, and that's all we need to do there. So um, can, we'll save that. So we've got that ready to go. The next thing we need to do then is go into our character blueprint. So we've got sprint from last lesson. So I just need to right click and I'll do look for crouch. And Let's try that. So what have we got there? Okay, it's probably, it's not gonna be that quite yet. We need to, let's have a look. We need to find the input action for, so I think we can do it cr crouch and there it is, action events crouched. I think we another way to do it is we can type in action event and, and crouch, crouch is there as well. So I can click crouch and there we've got our pressed and released. Now this is a really easy one to do. So I'm just gonna drag this out and I'm gonna type in crouch. So if it's pressed, I'm gonna put in crouch and if it's released, I'm just gonna type in uncrouch. And basically, that's all we need to do. I, I highlighted all, I click C, and I'm just gonna type in crouch so that we um, our code is nice and neat. Um, but as, as I mentioned earlier, this is uh, disabled by default. So what we need to do then is go into our character movement here and I'm, my screen is quite small, so I need to expand this out. And towards the bottom, you will find um, movement capabilities. Um, so if you, where was I there with that one? Character movement. Uh, there is movement capabilities. If you expand, expand that one, you'll see can crouch. It's current, it'll be currently unticked for you. So just click tick and that, that'll, that should do that for you. So then um, we can compile that and save it. And if I go to run my game now, I should be able to crouch. So let's go up to something on our, on our screen. So I'll run up after that and I'll press the C key and you can see I'm crouching. So if, uh, if we wanted to, we could quickly add in a cube to the game. Let's have a look. So I've just, I've just quickly put a cube in. I, I don't know what height it will be. So if I go to run over to the cube I just suspended, I hit the cube. If I press crouch, I can now go underneath it. So I, I just quickly added a cube in. It's a bit to high there. I press the crouch and I go underneath. So that's basically all we need to do to add in the, um, add in the crouch feature. Very easy to do. I hope you find that useful in creating future games. Thank you very much.